to go to Hollywood, if for nothing else, just to see the sights. I know how things work down there. My trip to Hollywood was, it was awesome, it was amazing. However, I spent two days trying to get there. So I was really, really exhausted by the time I got there. But when I woke up in the morning, the first thing that I did was to check out the view of the Hollywood sign from my room because I'd gotten there at night, so I couldn't see the night before. And it was just an amazing, amazing sight to wake up to. My first part of call was the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But before I went there, I checked out the rooftop pool of the hotel where I was staying because it was really hyped. But I found it quite underwhelming. Yeah, on the sides, they kept going on and on about how it was this and it was that. But yeah, it was a rooftop pool. And so I went to the Hollywood Walk of Fame and oh my goodness, I just kept imagining what it would be like to get my own name as an actor the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> a girl can dream, right? Well, it was really amazing. All the greats, all the greats, they were all there. And um, I like to be reachable when I travel, so I went to go sort out my sim, and I was walking down Hollywood Boulevard on my way back from the phone store, and then I saw a lot of people just excitedly you know, gathering around, and I asked somebody, what's going on, what's going on? And he said, you know Vin Diesel? You know Vin Diesel? The actor? He's here! He's here! <laughs> so I walked forward, and sure enough, there Vin Diesel was. So what happened was that then Gary Gray, who was popping up for directing movies like Set It Off, Straight Outta Compton, and some of the movies in the Fast and the Furious franchise, was getting his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> about our honoree. Our first speaker is an actor, singer, and comedian. He won an Academy Award. So some of the actors that he had worked with in the past were there to support him. So Vin Diesel was there, Jamie Fox was there, and Tyrese was there. Mm -hmm. I got to see them on my first day in Hollywood. That was really amazing. And then I came across an actual film crew also shooting a movie on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But I couldn't stay to watch because I had a tour to get to. And so I headed to the Warner Brothers Studio tour. It was breathtaking. I just kept trying to imagine a time that Nollywood would have, you know, studio lots like that to film. That would just take away all the stress and all the hassles that we encounter while filming in Nollywood. One day, one day, I have a dream. It will happen. The single most important reason why I went for the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, as opposed to the Universal Studio Tour, was to see the set of Friends. I am like the biggest Friends fan ever. I have all the DVD box sets of seasons 1 to 10, and I've seen every episode of Friends at least 10 times, and I am not even kidding. So being on the set was very surreal for me. It was, it was totally amazing. And for me, it was the highlight of the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Later that day, I checked out Hollywood movie stars homes and to be honest, there were just so many of them that at some point I probably got confused because <laughs> I don't know, I just saw so many homes that it got confusing. We went by Rodeo Drive and you know, the Beverly Hills Hotel, it was pretty cool. And then when I was checking to see the nightlife in Hollywood, you know, where exactly would I go, what would be fun? I saw something called Jungle's Clown Room, and the name it just sounded very weird, you know. But the review said, "Listen, don't be fooled by the name. Just check it out. It's amazing." And you know what? I totally concur. It was it was fantastic. They had all these ladies with platforms that were like almost as high as the ceiling, and the things that they could do with their legs. Listen, I don't even want to talk too much. Just check it out for yourself. You find yourself in Hollywood, and you will not regret it. It was totally amazing. And so, of all things, I went on a hike up the Hollywood Hills because I wanted to be able to see the Hollywood sign from a more vantage position. The hike was not easy. It was really steep and it got very scary at certain parts, but I did it. And I was in the company of quite a number of people that were fun. So it was pretty cool and the tour guide said that we might see mountain snakes so that was really scary and i was looking out for it but thankfully that never happened so yeah it was nice we got up there we took pictures it was pretty cool 
and someone later said to me that if I hadn't said that I was hiking up the Hollywood Hills, and I thought I was in like Kintari Hills or something. <laughs> because a hill is a hill, regardless of whether it's in Hollywood or Apiopuka or Windham State or wherever it is. And then when we came down the hill, I went to the Griffith Observatory, but I'm not much of a star gazer, so I decided to the early sky space. And the view from up there was amazing. Like you can see the whole of downtown LA. It was just, it was totally unlike anything I'd ever seen before. It was pretty cool. Thank you, Hollywood. I have.